Good evening, JNRs, and welcome to the JNC Podcast. My name is Brad Brock, and I will be your host this evening. Uh, tonight, we've got a lot of shocking things to discuss, discuss and endure. Uh, so uh, I guess we'll start by giving the rundown. I'm actually introducing or reintroducing, rather, a, a local buzz news segment, um, which we'll go over just before we get into this week's entertainment headlines in the Geordie Files. Uh, so I'd like to bring some like local news back into the uh, back into the mix, which would be pretty nice. Uh, we will be playing an electrifying round of Name That Tune. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the name's Jordan Dust. Yes, we'll be playing uh, that with all of our live viewers. We've got Shock Collar Trivia. On deck. And more here, <laughs> you guys. I am joined here, as always, by the bodacious Miss Jordan Taylor. Hi. <laughs> and, trophy, Jordan Taylor. and the master of disaster, Derek Zugel and the bad bitch. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bad bitch, too. Miss Ellen Rock. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a slow start today. I am uh, joined. Uh, I've already read that. This is going real well. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in live with us or catching the show later on our free Roku channel or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Please give us a follow where applicable. I guess, for God's sake, we'll uh, kick this evening off with our shot of the week. I think we, we all need that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, stressful. It's a stressful, stressful existence here. All right, what a shock! Our shot of the week this week is the electric lemonade. Mm-hmm. Sounds delicious. Yes, you guys. It is one part uh, citron vodka or lemon flavored, whatever your flavor palette gives you a splash of blue curacao two parts of sour mix and a splash of sprite you shake it in ice and you strain it into a shot glass and uh then you get this beautiful drink it's really nice sans the ants gorgeous right. sans the ants. <laughs> well cheers you guys thanks for uh being here and uh calming me down or not uh and cheers to all you tuned in check your drink we yeah. taking it in one shot uh, I mean, that's a big ass shot. Let's go, Brad. It's no, very God. sour. All right, here we go, Derek. Hmm. Delicioso. That oh. does. Um, it just tastes like straight up lemonade. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's the, that's the goal was for it to uh, basically taste like lemonade. Delish. Yeah. How goal about achieved. That? Goal I achieved. Drink that. Well, you guys, join us each Wednesday night for our shot or cocktail of the week. Ooh, I got like, <laughs> it's like now hitting my like cheeks. Very sour. <laughs> should, should have put yeah, some, some of the powder. acid rim yeah. around it. <laughs> Woo. Uh, just visit jncpodcast.com to see what we're planning. Then get everything you need delivered to your home from our friends at Drizzly. Drizzly. That's correct. What, what? In the butt. Oh, boy. What, what in the butt? <laughs> Well, I guess we'll dive into our show here. Um, I'm going to go back to the uh, real screen so that we can all be on here and have a little chit chat. Yeah, give us all some limelight here. Yes, everyone deserves the limelight yeah. or the lemonade light. Ellie and I have two limelights. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at you. <laughs> it's kind of funny where, they, where you're, you're yeah. all wound it up. Double the pleasure, double. Wound it up. Yep. All right. Well, uh, we're going to get into the local buzz. I didn't have an opportunity to make a very cool intro for this. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll see it in post. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but this is the local buzz. Well, you guys, uh, it's super cool. And I kind of touched on it last week a little bit. Uh, but local singer songwriter Vern Basil recently released a new single. The Switch and Whiskey Frontman has a new solo single out called Wild Girl. And uh, we listened to it a little bit uh, last week. It's it's a great track. Uh, it was written in 2019. Vern actually performed all the parts and mixed the track himself because he's just mega talented. Um, uh, so go and stream that wherever you listen to music. Uh, coming up Saturday, April 23rd is the Fort 20 Fest. 
It's a little play on words there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, featuring reggae band Cashed Out and other great bands, our friend Al Beltran is behind organizing this super cool uh, event, and it's taking place at the Sunrise Sands Resort in Fort Pierce, the old inlet, and whatever it was before, the rum fish, and, you know, whatever it was before that. Um, but, yeah, it's an all-day event kicking off at 11 a.m. and going into the night. Tickets for that are available on their event page uh, on Facebook and Eventbrite. Uh, this is super cool. Um, you know, I love seeing news articles about our uh, about our past guests. So, uh, are you ready for summer? I'm not. Always ready for summer. But our trop rock singer, songwriter friend John McDonald just premiered a new music video for his song "Ukulele Luau Dreams." Uh, actually, makes me want to be in Hawaii right now. So, uh, in fact, I'm I'm out of here. I thought I'm, you were. Like, I'm done. <laughs> Get the hell! Get. You already got the shirt ready. I know, and I have many of these shirts now. <laughs> so I'm re- I'm ready for Hawaii, hundred percent. Now, uh, you guys could go and check it out on YouTube. We'll actually post it uh, if I've not already. I believe I have uh, on our Facebook page as well. Um, some really important news that's going on live music is under siege at pierce cider works in fort pierce um a recurring resident uh has been complaining and it's led officials to interpret an old edgartown ordinance in a way that limits their outdoor live entertainment to only acoustic instruments with no amplification Uh, so while other venues bars and restaurants in the surrounding area are guided by a different more specific ordinance uh pierce which has become known for their music entertainment is at a loss. So actually we're dedicating a podcast mm. episode on the 27th to discussing this matter and uh, taking a look at both sides. Uh, Cause I think that's important in a discussion um, and uh, see if we can't develop a well-rounded grasp of the situation. Uh, we'll actually be joined by pierced manager and friend, Will Goulet, who has been on the show before and uh, perhaps some other special guests. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this one, April 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And that is The Local Buzz. <laughs> yeah. That was shocking. Shocking, right? I wish I had like an electrical sound bite. I do not have that. That would have been good for the show, I think. Uh, a little electrical bite. You had one at one point. I know. I think I had it for Halloween, though. Mm-hmm. It all goes away. All right. Well, now we're going to get into this week's entertainment news delivered by a world-renowned <laughs> wow. news. <laughs> world-renowned Who's joining anchoring. us? World-renowned news anchor. What's happening? Did I, I miss something? I don't know what's happening. So, we're that, good. Did I miss something? No. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what happened? She kicked me under the table. No. Oh. I feel like something has gone far over my head, which is not <laughs> hard to do at my current <laughs> stature. Current? Does that mean you're like yeah. you're... Um, you were giving me a compliment, I think, is what was happening. I oh. thought we were looking for the world-renowned <laughs> news World-renowned anchor. news anchor. Uh, which world? I'm not sure. Uh, possibly Mars. Ron your Burgundy. World. It's your world, Brad. <laughs> yes, in my world. Yes, of course. Uh, you guys, <laughs> buckle up. I'm not sure where this show is going tonight. This is the Jordy <laughs> Files. <laughs> chance to go through all the hard words with you <laughs> i know yeah we didn't go over anything i feel unprepared <laughs> is it that your notes have not come up on your computer yet no they are oh that's great that's <laughs> yes, fantastic they are. okay mm-hmm. um we have that going for us oh, yeah. yeah yeah you know what fun would doing a live show be if we weren't wildly unprepared sometimes <laughs> 
And I feel like, you know, this this maybe I'm just super glad we don't have any special guests. Yeah, I feel like the 8 p.m. comes earlier and earlier. Right. I thought well, we were special enough I as thought it is. so, too. You... Uh, we're not guests. <laughs> Y'all are we're special. Characters. Y'all are special, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we're wow. in, in the Jordy files. Jordan. Savage. Uh, what do we what what the, what the hell's going on out there in the world today? Okay. So we have some day of births. So we will so people were actually born today? Discuss them. <laughs> that's first. wild. I know. Can you believe it? I can't. It's, it's a great day. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm Soul singer Al Green is turning 76 years old today, known for the mega hits Take Me to the River and Let's Stay Together. Oh, yeah. Good bangers. Actor Ron Perlman is 71 today. That's crazy. That is hard to believe that he's 71. Yes, he is known for his role on the hit show Sons of Anarchy and the Hellboy films plus an array of other notable roles throughout his career. E Street band drummer Max Weinberg is celebrating his 70th, 70th birthday today. A big um, milestone. In addition to the E Street band, Max is also the band leader for the Conan O'Brien show, and he is the father of Slipknot drummer Jay Weinberg. Whoa! Well, I feel like we've had Jay a couple times in our uh, in our stories. Max too, probably. Hmm. Yeah. Turning forty nine years old today is stained front man singer songwriter A A Ron Lewis. <laughs> Aaron, for those a- of you, A A Ron, A A Ron, that wasn't picking up what I was putting down. <laughs> this one is great. Mambo artist Lou Bega is 46 today bum, 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 bum. he's written like five mambos one i am in in the four, biggest five. one is not even his own song he just sampled it heavily <laughs> and then put his little words on top yes i love that song he would say my grandma and my cousin's names in it oh anyway the mambo number five yeah what names did you know in it quite a few okay you know that song came out in 1999 god Moving. I was Why? like four years ago. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Debbie Downer. More like forty. Oh. Just kidding. Yeah, Jordan, you have no room to talk about how long something. <laughs> it's not my fault. You're an antique, Derek. So. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Savage. Dusty. Jeez. Uh, he's best known, obviously, for his 1999 smash hit Mambo Number no. Five. Sorry, Derek. Um, turning the big four out today is singer, songwriter, and producer Ty Dolla Sign. Nice. Dolla Sign. God, 40. 40. Man, that's wild. Yeah. And finally, uh, celebrating a birthday today is our good friend and local Treasure Coast treasure entertainer. I threw that in there. Chris Springer. Yeah, Chris Springer. <laughs> You're a treasure. And also, my little second cousin, Olive, is 15 today, and I'm going to go jump off a bridge. I'll join you. Yes. Everybody want to go she's, jump off a bridge? She's driving. Very almost. tall bridge. It's terrifying. No, no, no. Just a short one. <laughs> just a little troll bridge. Yes. So that's our millions of birthdays today. Nice. Yay. Happy birthday, everybody. If we missed your birthday, we're sorry. Yeah. Let us know. In the comments. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll and we, fix it. And we won't talk about it. We'll fix it. <laughs> we'll talk about it next week. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, yeah, we have a lot of shocking stories uh, in the majority files today. True. We're and this them. first one, I feel like did not get the amount of street cred that I, or <laughs> maybe I just cred. haven't been online a lot lately. And well, at my work, I get, I get no <laughs> service at all, but I felt like it kind of was less of a. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Anyway, not, not as big a story yeah, as you thought it would be. Or just all over everything because legendary. Yeah, like, for sure. Amazing. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried, comedian and actor, passed away suddenly. Well, not well suddenly on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty. He he had had a pretty long illness. He'd probably been struggling with like a heart condition for many many years. Yeah. That's a yeah. That's a shame, man. He like voiced a childhood. I feel like oh, yep. yeah. you know between like Aladdin, uh, Aladdin, yeah, the Iago the parrot. Um, mm-hmm. you know he he uh, look who's talking. Is that yep. isn't that mm-hmm. the movie the film? 
Wasn't he also a voice in Recess? Possibly. I feel like he was. He's or, been a voice. Yeah. He's been so a voice in everything. tons and tons of stuff. Uh, yeah, so he was only 67. Problem Child, not Look Who's Talking. Problem Child was oh, yeah, the film. I was going to say, who was he in Look Who's Talking? No, no, no. Problem Child. Uh, another, like, I feel like almost the exact same film. Probably came out around the same time. But yeah. Uh, yes. I don't think you've seen them if you think they're the same film. Hey, it's been a while, man. Okay. <laughs> Brain span, attention span, <laughs> memory of a goldfish. True. So, yeah, you can't forget that New York raspy mouth. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to botch it because I haven't practiced it, but I was I was about to. I was going to give it a shot. I was going to give it the old college try to, to impersonate him. But I mean, I feel like what better time? I think now that now. you've said something, you have no, to. No, I can't do it. I don't want to. No, I don't want to. You have to. No, because I, I wouldn't do it justice. If I had practiced it maybe earlier today, uh, I, I, I would give it a shot. But. I think you're doing a disservice to the fans of this show. Now that you've mentioned it, not to try. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> do you hear that, everybody out there? Boo. I'm not doing it. I'm forsaking it. We're not doing it. Oh, All gosh. Right. Our YouTube like subscribers just went down. We will make him. <laughs> oh, so we had one subscriber yeah, now? <laughs> we've lost all of them. We will make him practice during the break and uh, come back after the first break and you'll hear uh, Gilbert Godfrey impersonation. All right. Maybe on the break, I'll give it a shot and okay. see how I feel. We'll see how good it is if you can. <laughs> Do it's it not enough. about how good it is. It's just if I can get anywhere in the ballpark. <laughs> okay. And the range, yeah. But yes, yeah, so legend gone too soon. Sail on, Gilbert. Yes. And then... Uh, More shocking news? Oops, she did it again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did. Nice. Uh, Her again. That was solid. I mean, Brittany had been talking, and Brittany has got in... Got it. I don't know. Anyway, Brittany is pregnant. So <laughs> oh, there it is. We got there. Now that she doesn't have a conservatorship over her shoulder, she can do what she wants with herself. Yeah. Yes. And she wanted that baby and she got that baby. So yes, she the got that baby. 40 year old pop star announced on Instagram on Monday that she is going to be a mother. Motherfucker. Trucker. Well, somebody's the motherfucker. In and, this situation. Uh, That's crazy. What a massive age group or age difference between her two boys and uh, this this child's gonna be. Oh my gosh! Yeah, how old are they? Sixteen and fifteen. Yeah, That's it. I yeah. feel like they should be older than that. They're not. Okay, that makes <laughs> yeah, me feel younger. This is, you know, <laughs> for like, once, there was quite a bit of speculation going on about this on social media until she finally came out and was like, "Yep, it's a happening." So I don't know, man. Whatever. She got thirteen years stolen from her. So. I feel like, how old was she 13 years ago? Uh, 13 years younger Thir than she is today. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that is 27. That mathematics. Yeah, so, you know, like 27 is pretty young. She From 27 to now, she's had quite a bit of time taken from her. So, there we are. So, yes, so congrats, Brittany. Yeah. I'll say that. Mazel tov. Yeah. Yeah. And it appears that Kevin Federline is uh, is cool with it. And uh, wish her hope well. So. Um, yeah. So glad that he's okay with what she does with her body. Right. Well, you know, they share kids together, so they, they probably have to deal with each other on. Yeah, but it's been like over a decade. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. We'll I don't see know how that guys. progresses. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. It's still fresh. We shall see. It's still fresh. <laughs> um, The next shocking article. <laughs> Achy breaky hearts, folks. Miley, <laughs> Miley Cyrus's parents purportedly filed for divorce for a third time. I don't know if this is shocking or like like so did or they disappointing. Divorce and remarry three times? Uh, no, it says the former couple mm. have twice before filed for divorce with Billy Ray first pulling the plug in 2010 before reconciling three years later tish filed for divorce in 2013 but the two again reconciled so wow, they tied can, the knot in 1993 and have five children cherubs together you can see the the combination of miley and those two right faces. Oh my god you, you look at all of their smoke. kids and okay, they're like and a perfect mix she looks like cheryl crow yes yeah, yeah. i could i could see that for sure but prettier 
I, I read an wow. article that, where... Just sorry. a nonchalant dig at Cheryl Crow. No problem. <laughs> I read an article that earlier that she's, they okay. still wow. love each other. Oh, my God. Sorry. Jordan. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Some, Somebody I'm get sorry. the pepper, because this girl no. is salty. <laughs> Lord. Uh, On fire tonight. I mean, I'm just... I'm, I'm not wrong. Just saying. Anyway. God, did, did, you, did, you, on. did you drink wine at lunch today? No, I wish. <laughs> it was a seltzer. Yeah, I did have a Celsius though. Ooh! But they filed. Uh, they filed for divorce this time for irreconcilable differences. So let's see if they're lying and they uh, reconcile. reconcile again. Yeah. Did they both file di- for divorce or did, <laughs> Separately. did one of them? They, so. Yeah, uh, Billy Who Ray. It? Billy Ray filed first, mm-hmm. and then she filed again years later. And I'm not sure who filed. Right, that's what does that was say my that question. The kids filed this time. <laughs> the kids, it does not say. Uh, I don't. Doesn't say. Oh, Tish was the one who initiated the divorce, nah. filing the necessary documents in Tennessee, and requesting. so she did it again. So I guess Oops. it was her. And then it says that. Neither one of them have been seen together in public since 2020. Well, nobody's been seen together with people. Yeah, really. Right, yeah. <laughs> good, good reporting, True. TMZ. Well done. Our friend, uh, our friend Robin chimed in and said, Jordan is a savage tonight. <laughs> Thank you. I got to give the people what they want or don't want. I don't know. Or don't, don't want. Whatever it is, I don't care. I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's I can't that's be tamed. Sad. But I guess they can't have any more be- beautiful children. It's Miley Cyrus song. Oh, wow. nice. Thank you. That was solid to you. Anyway. You are on fire. Thank you. What's next? It's probably the 4 p.m. Celsius. Um, oh, so you were drinking. It was an energy drink. It was an energy drink. Yeah. With booze in it. But she hadn't had an energy drink for Ever. so long. The next article <laughs> is Judge Dismisses Post Malone's Request to Toss Circles copyright lawsuit. Post Malone will have to stand trial um, in the authorsh- authorship. Authorship? Yeah, authorship. What a weird word. I don't like that. <laughs> Dispute over circles. A judge ruled Monday. Um, the suit was filed by Canadian musician Tyler Armus. Who- uh, Armus? Armus? Who claims he's Tyler? What's your name? Owed is? song credit, writing credit. Wow, I'm sorry. Carry on, Brad. Don't know what his um, name is. We don't know what his arm is. I can't yeah, read a sentence. Um, I'm falling apart. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, is anybody surprised that Post Malone's getting sued uh, for copyright this time? Um, I feel like every it's just everybody's in line getting sued well, left we and right. We talked about that before. Well, it's interesting. With the um, it's a it, it, we have another story. It's actually the next story. Uh, that I'll chime in a little bit more about it. But is, what, what are the links that these artists are now going to to protect themselves from these copyright, you know, and vice versa, because there's two sides to every story, you know, so maybe it is legitimate that he wrote the, uh, he said it's a, a single guitar lick in the song that he's suing over. Um, and, and he claims that they were all at a jam session and that he played this lick and then they used it in the song. Uh, it goes on. He even says that, they offered him a, like a 5% cap on the royalties, but when he negotiated for more, greedy, uh, they took it all from him, and now he's suing. So that's wow. just that's just what he claims. Uh, Post Malone and his producer are dead set that, that this was all their work and that the, the other guy had no control over the jam session. He just happened to be there. So I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like Muses got so corporate. Yeah. You know? They should have just fixed that guitar lick in post. Obviously. Uh-huh. 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 Derek. Thanks, Derek. Oh, nice one. Good. So uh, Malone's lawyer, uh, Christine LaPera, she argued that uh, Arms <laughs> only offered suggestions <laughs> to her client and producer Frank Dukes at the time. Uh, LaPera added that only Posty and Dukes had veto control during the meeting and explained you don't become a joint author unless you control the supervision. Um, the judge, he countered, he said he, he didn't understand that concept. Uh, go figure, because judges have no idea what happens ever inside a, a jam session. Uh, it's amazing these people that have the capability to uh, pass judgment on other people. 
It's unbelievable. Uh, and press the attorney on what Dukes contributed besides manipulation and operation of the laptop during the session. What a fucking mess. <laughs> Leave post me. Post me. Leave Posty alone. Yeah. Leave him alone. He's anyway. had enough. Yes. What's going to end up happening is this is this is just in court. Is just going to go around in circles? I love that he's taking. Uh, I like that he's. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone. That was great. <laughs> I love that he's taking a stand and and posting up and uh, not just giving in to people. You know, is the fucking full moon tonight. Why is, <laughs> that- is Posty the best one to make puns about? I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we're not leaving Post Malone. <laughs> Oh my God! This is gonna be a show to get through. This God. is better now. <laughs> yeah, you, you're getting back into it. <laughs> Whoa, so, that's a song too, Brad. Better my now. God. Yeah, I got that one. I caught that one. We were in the swimming pool, and now we're in the ocean. That's how salty it is in Harry, guys. Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> Should we move on? Helping wounds since forever. <laughs> Whatever year. Goodbye, Post Malone. What's anyway, next? next article. Following copyright case, Ed Sheeran. Did you postpone na- this? For- <laughs> <laughs> you we get it. you oh made this God. later on in the thing. Thing. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh, True. This, there's not enough booze Post- in this drink. <laughs> you can have mine. There's not enough ants in this. <laughs> can we get some more ants over here? <laughs> oh, my God. Following copyright case, Ed Sheeran now... Um, films all his songwriting sessions to protect himself after winning the copyright case over shape of you ed sheeran says from now on he's filming his songwriting sessions to protect himself against similar claims in the future so that's what i wanted to bring up like now like you can't just like have a jam session and write songs together like you have to film yourself writing your own songs to like prove to a judge that you made your own art i hate i hate where we are right now yeah this is the worst like i think every artist should just go to a mountaintop by themselves and write all their music and then come down from the mountaintop uh when they're done yes, kind of like kind prove? of like our next story that's a great segue oh, how could you prove that you're on the mountaintop making your own music gps baby i have the satellite looking at me uh uh-huh. Yes, the, 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 the one satellite that, that circles Earth in space. <laughs> that was a good segue. Is there anything else you want to touch on with that? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, <laughs> you know, he won He won the suit and he won it fair and square. Now he's taking initiative to make sure that that never happens again. And uh, so good for him for winning that. Um, hopefully that sets any kind of precedent for uh, for future, future artists. Uh, because if if every complaint was awarded to the plaintiff, there would be a huge problem. So, there we go. Yeah, I think we're done there. <laughs> he, I guess he goes on to say, I guess BBC Newsnight. Uh, he said that now I just film everything. Everything is on film. Good one. Uh, we've had claims coming through on the songs, and we go, well, here's the footage, and you watch. You'll see nothing's there. So, good for you. Good for you, Ed. Ed. And Eddie. And Eddie. <laughs> well, speaking of mountaintops. Speaking of mountains, Mike Posner documents Mount Everest climb in video from new song Home. How about that? So, Going to the mountains. Everybody oh, should my- follow Mike Posner's uh, uh, post. Ah. Yes. His post. Yeah. Yes. Postner. No. Uh, yeah. He climbed Mount Everest. That is no simple feat. Like. That's a that's a pretty huge, huge thing. But it is, it anybody, is. It's the hugest thing. Does anybody on remember the face Mike? Of Earth. <laughs> yes. Does anybody remember Mike Posner? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he took a pill and a pizza. And a pizza? Mm, pizza. <laughs> he did what? Yeah, he took a pill and a pizza. A bill and a pizza. Yes. He's yeah. cooler than me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we know. <laughs> we know him. That's a great photo. He said it was a struggle, man. I guess he has a. I'd like to watch the video. I didn't get a chance to take a peek at it, but uh, yeah, I'm good on you. I have no interest in going that high up on the earth. Smashing. He's already don't been there. It. Don't need it. 
Uh, in a statement, I guess Mike said, if I did my job well, home pulls out the crystallized longing that was in my heart before I walked across America and climbed Mount Everest. So everyone else can see why I had to do those things. Pretty profound. Walk across America. Yes. Wow. It's hard for me to like walk up the street. Yeah, to right. Go to the grocery store. <laughs> I still get in my car for that most times. Sorry, environment. All right. I wonder how long do you think it took him to walk across America? Well, when did his last day come out? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly that long. Right after he took a bill in a pizza. Pill pill in a pizza? Pill God. in a pizza. Well, I cannot say those words tonight. Wow. What? Did somebody put some Rufalin? Rufalin? In those <laughs> but he can say Rufalin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that they're the wrong word. do you think they're magical ants? Magical ants. Uh, they could be. how wonderful would this be? <laughs> this is how the ants are getting back at us how, for eating them. How yeah. wonderful would it be if they were like hallucinogenic ants? Uh, well, be having, what enough. did they get yeah. into in we'll your drawers before time. getting to the alcohol? I don't know. <laughs> you never know. You never know what to find in those drawers. True. Next article. <laughs> okay. Moving right along. The Backstreet Boys are retiring some dance moves from their DNA <laughs> world tour. <laughs> they it's hurt. It's not in their DNA anymore, huh? True. It's uh, not. Yeah. Mm-mm. Apparently, they have two more shows in Vegas this weekend, which I don't know why we're not there, but it's fine. Um, before they officially take their DNA world tour on the road. But a few of their signature dance moves will not be going with them. Oh, probably for good reason. Those knees age faster than anything else. Yep. Um, they're coming to Florida in their world tour. I'm good. You know, the warm weather will be good on those old ass joints. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they'll be able to. I wonder if they'll play at Disney. We need to go see them. I don't know. Just where the, where it all began. Where it all began. Yes, back to their old stomping grounds. In the back streets of Disney. True. Those boys. Oh, God. I feel like, is the presence of Ringo here? I feel like you guys are channeling his ass right now. Yeah. Can you believe that they were big 25 years ago? Shut your mouth. (laughs) Yeah, no. There's another story that's going to blow your brains out. I read it already, and I hate you for it. Yeah. Yeah, all of this is very shocking. Yes. Oh. So the moral of the story is that the boys are getting old and they can't move it and groove it like they, they used to. Yeah. Kevin Richardson, the oldest of the group at 50 years old, explained, oh, we used to be in a standing position, drop to our knees with no knee pads on, oh. and then pop right back up. He said, we don't do that anymore. That's amazing that they could even ever do that. He said, we don't do kip ups anymore, which is when you're laying on your back and just jump up. We don't do splits anymore. Uh, <laughs> Were they doing those I like before they announced split. this and then they just realized they can't do it? Uh, I, have they been doing this in Vegas this whole time? Right, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's amazing pants. they did it one time. Yeah. Ever. I picture myself at 50 as like, you know, you ever see like basically what Mr. Whipple looked like before he died? <laughs> well, that's me. Don't squeeze the Charmin. You know, he's going to need one of those bars to get up off the toilet. When he's 50. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> he's 50. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to have to have one of those the mechanical things that lift you up <laughs> off the, the chairs <laughs> that the right they raise you up to a standing position. Oh, my God. That sounds wonderful. Wow. I want it for everything. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> so you please. don't have to pick him up so anymore. To, Help yeah. me. <laughs> Get him out of chairs. Oh, Hopefully, God. he blacks out in those same chairs, and you don't have to pick him up. True. Oh God, then it's he'll be worst. pass out short and just li- raises it and lets him fall on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Serves many, many purposes. Many purposes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next article. Oh no, there's one more thing. Oh, uh, okay. He. Um, Wait, if if the if the Backstreet Boys have a 50 year old member, how old is are the people from New Kids? Oh, probably in their fifties, pushing sixty, maybe. Oh my God, like you're no. talking about Donnie Wahlberg. Oh my God, and, oh uh, my and God. Uh, what's, what's uh, uh, 
John Knight or whatever the hell his name is. Let me Jordan. See. Uh, Jordan Knight. It. That's right. Well, while you're looking at this, uh, Donnie Wahlberg is 52. Yeah, see, but he was one of the younger members of that group. Mm. Jordan Knight is. 51. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So they're probably all the same. I mean, Early 50s. Okay? Like, like, like Kevin, late 50s. Kevin in Backstreet was pretty, pretty old. He was the oldest when they were like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure thing. he was like 31 when they were all like 17. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, while Backstreet fans may love what they see on stage, the group says that their kids are another story. Nick Carter is taking his daughter on tour and predicts that she'll probably, quote, uh, probably. Daughter? Yeah. How old is his daughter? I don't know, probably going to give me some dirty looks and, or give some dirty looks to some of the girls out in the audience. And then she's probably going to do what AJ's daughter did one time and yell, get off stage, get down now. <laughs> Hilarious. These guys. All right. Wow. Are you still looking at ages of new kids? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how old Nick Carter's daughter is, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Really. You are a creep. Old en- she's old enough to go on tour. That's all that matters yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's old. He's her dad, so. Ugh. Okay. Um, American Idol recap. A platinum ticket holder drops out as the competition continues. They give out platinum tickets now? I don't even know what that means. I don't know. I know the golden ticket. And I think it sends them right to the top 24. I know uh, the golden ticket sends them right to Hollywood. Right. But the platinum sends them right to the top 24. I guess. Uh, what a way to uh, just skip everybody out, I guess. This girl looks familiar. Yeah, Allegra Miles still in the still in the running, man. <laughs> she's still in there. Yes, yeah, she's local. Yep, 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 yep. So, hello. We have to whoop, whoop. support local. Oh yeah, we talked. Vote about Jordan, Jordan wasn't here last week. I oh, forget. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we talked quite a bit about her uh, in the Jordy Files last oh, yeah. week. Good she's, for good. Good on you good. for catching up. Yeah. Thank Glad you. you listened to the show. Yes. That you missed. I did. She's got an hour drive to work. She better listen. <laughs> oh, man. It's 30 minutes. She, doesn't. she listens to uh, some other radio show in the morning on her little drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Yep. Oh, I know. I know. Scandalous I and know. salty. The journey to find the next American <laughs> Idol <laughs> continued nice. Monday night with the room. See how I did that? Remaining half of the top 24 taking the stage in hopes of winning America's votes. I can't believe American Idol is still on. Yeah, what that's like 25 years. 24, 34. I don't know. I remember a, a story about Mr. Brock over here where he was very upset about that show. Still, still, I, I mean, I'm not upset about it. I would just never, ever, I would never, ever do it. I would ever, never, ever. I would never, never, ever go ever. on a game show <laughs> uh, to, to make my career flourish in any way. I would just quit. I would just give up. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where I stand on it. Don't don't take don't take my advice. It's it's terrible. Uh, but it is uh, the top twenty four will be narrowed down to the top twenty when American Idol returns Sunday, April seventeenth, at eight p.m. Eastern on ABC. So uh, that means they only have to get rid of three instead of four now. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, really. So, uh, be sure to um, check out Allegra next week, I believe, and vote. Yes, vote, vote, vote for Allegra. Only for Allegra, for her. only yeah. for her. Who cares if you like her or not? Just vote if yeah. you're from here. Yeah. You guys want another shocker? Yes. Give it to him, Jordy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mariah Carey's record-setting album, The Emancipation of Mimi, was released 17 years ago this week. Mm. And if you're trying to remember what the Mimi album had on it, it had huge hits like Shake It Off, It's Like That, Don't Forget About Us, and We Belong Together. Which is the huge, huge tune. Yes, it was Mariah Carey's 10th studio album. And quickly came to be one of R&B's greatest album of all times. Yep. It was released on April 12th, 2005. You know, what were you doing in 2005? I was trying to stay out of jail constantly around that time. (laughs) I was uh, in high school. Careful. (laughs) Careful. (laughs) I think... (laughs) Yes, yes, I was. A 
freshman. Just learning to drive. A freshman in high school. Yeah. Oh, terrible. I was a senior in 2005. Unbelievable. Uh, I was a senior in college. <laughs> We're so young <laughs> compared to I you. I know I am. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. <laughs> bah, 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 bitch. So that's that. So. Yeah, it was a huge record. Go feel uh, and um, it was uh, it was considered Mariah Carey's comeback album. Um, but it's it's one that uh, has cemented the superstar as an R&B great. We belong together. Huge jam. Nice. Shake It Off by Mariah Carey, not to be confused with Shake It Off by... T-Swift. T-Swift. That's true. Tay-Tay. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Also a great jam. Yeah. By Mariah. Shake It Off. Anything else? Epic. That it? Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Well, this is Dirty File. Yay. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> oh man oh man oh man all right well um let me get situated here uh we're gonna take a quick break for god's sake i think we need one i think everybody can uh <laughs> everybody <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> everybody can attest that we uh we could probably use a break <laughs> coming oh, up paul, next wait paul asked us a question oh what did paul have to say he asked us God, and where is nobody paul? reads the Jordy files when i'm speaking Ugh. where is paul listening i um, i'm not you're getting, reading the Jordy files. <laughs> i'm not getting any <laughs> comments, comments anywhere it's on the brad brock page everyone watches on your page yeah there's really no comments anywhere yeah. i'm not i'm not getting them um, oh well i am so i I'm gonna share. Okay, we'll share. Okay. Share away. So, oh my God, there's tons of comments. I'm missing all of them. See? Oh, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning if in. If you're not I on didn't... the Brad Brock page, you're only getting half the story. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing everything. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Paul. Hi, Joe. Hi, Nikki. What else is there? Jay. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, I thought I thought we were all alone out here, uh, but uh, but thank you for tuning in. I love you. There's the camera. So Paul asked, "Who our favorite Backstreet Boy?" is each of us back in the day oh okay who would like to go first um i'll go first okay <laughs> jordy will go first um my favorite of course was nick carter okay <laughs> perfect my personal favorite was uh justin timberlake that was in sync doesn't matter they're the same group <laughs> Nice. Excellent. Derek is also salty tonight. Crushed it. We're just tossing the salt around. What about you, Elbow? I don't know the members. <laughs> uh Nick Carter, obviously. That was that was every girl's favorite. Yeah. yeah. I liked Howie. He always had cool hats. Uh, I like the hat guy. Yeah. yeah. I the like hat. the hat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I was so into the Backstreet Boys growing up, if you can't tell. Yeah. It's, it's evident, yep, painfully. I was gonna say that, yeah. Painfully evident, if you will. Okay. All right, you guys. Coming up, we're gonna play around and name that tune with all of you that are actually tuning in live. Hopefully, I'll see those comments coming through now that they are here. Kevin McLaughlin tuning in. Finally, I see somebody on YouTube. Not finally, you're tuning in, Kevin. We love you. But finally, somebody's on YouTube <coughs> watching. Nice, good deal. Okay. Um, just in time for a break. It's about time you got here, Kevin. <laughs> oh, good. All right, you guys. Uh, get your thinking gaps on because uh, coming up next, we're going to name that too. We'll be right back. All right. All right. We are back. Thank you for hanging with us. Uh, and it is time to get our thinking caps on for this electrifying round of name that too. That's right. It's time to name that tune. We invite all of our live viewers to play along with us in the chats and comments uh, while we play here in the lounge. I say we. I just basically sit back and laugh and uh, and, and everybody else plays. Um, so uh, we are looking for the name of the song and the band or artist that performs it. Tonight's category is shockingly electricity. Oh, I might. I might do well at this one. Okay. Let's wow. play. Wow. All right. Everybody ready out there? Are we ready in here? Let's do it. All right. First clue. Everybody ready? Jordan's still eating a cheese stick. I'm ready. She's ready. I'm ready. She's ready. I'm All right. Ready. First ready. clue. Here we go. Here we go. Electricity. I know this one. Well. Here's that clue one more time for you playing at all. Oh, what's the band? 
Ha. 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 Jordan's got a town. Derek's down. Ellie's still thinking. She's thinking real hard about it, though. I know the name yeah. of the song. I don't know the artist. It's. I don't know either, so uh, it makes you feel better. Oh, great. Uh, oh, so Derek, Derek, he's just doodling. Oh, he's just <laughs> writing shit. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, yeah, while Ellie is stalling, you guys still have a chance to write it down in the chats and comments. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Probably ants. <laughs> Probably ants. <laughs> it's in, they're in the microphones. They're everywhere. No These one knows fuckers. what we're talking about because no okay. one discussed we'll, it. We'll talk, about, we'll like talk about it. Maybe we'll have a chat about it in shameless plugs. Well, we're we're still trying to decide what we're going to do with those uh, insects and stuff that we're going to eat. So. Yes, the ant stands. The ants are all. Hey, there. We're, we're I feel like we're in training. That's what the, that's what all this is. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Derek. All right. Anything, Ellie? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to guess. I don't think it's right. All right. Let's see the cards here. In the, ball part. Right. in the lounge. Electric Love That Group. That's not right. It oh. is Electric Feel MGMT. Oh, my God. I can't believe I pulled that out of my brain space. Nice. My research is not. <laughs> Mine's great. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed in the. And not being Ooh, able it's to already, uh, it's ruined. Oh, not no. being able to see the comments. <laughs> it got wet or something. Oh no. What happened? The board's done. My board's ruined. Oh God. And Jordan only had one napkin. You could I you could her clean too. it oh, for good. sure. There you go. You can clean yeah. it. All right, guys, ready for the next clue? This one is uh might be a little harder for some. <laughs> Jordan, right to the board. Wow. Nice. Here it is one more time. Ooh, Paul is in with the band. Uh, turning in on my personal page on Facebook. And he got the uh, he got the song, too. What do you guys have here in the lounge? My best guess. Uh, it is ACDC. It is AC. Everybody got ACDC. None of you got the right song. It is high voltage. Paul I got it. Chris is definitely high voltage. You know, in, in some cases, we're going to find out tonight. The- yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. AC. Okay. All right. Um, it's, we're, it's, it's already better than last week. <laughs> already no, doing better than last we, week. I got two last week and <laughs> Ellie got two and a half. I did. I did win she last beat. week. <laughs> she won. Uh, Paul Robertson said, uh, Jordan, is that a division problem? <laughs> <laughs> Mathematics. <laughs> no- right. it, yeah, it's called nothing over ACDC. Because <gasps> ACDC is the greatest. Yeah. Here is. Um, They've got big balls. You got it. Here's, here's the next clue. Um, again, if you're just joining us, the topic is electricity. And then we'll take it higher. Oh, we I don't know if right. anybody has seen my board, but it has been written on here since the beginning. <laughs> has it really? It has. Nice. Here it is oh. one more time. And then we'll take I don't it know the artist. Oh, we done a rock. It's a good one. I know one of the artists. So I don't know if this is the artist. I remember like growing up listening to the song and was just like you know, you you do you remember being a kid and like listening to a song and it just blows your mind? We built this city. Yeah, was that the one for you? Yeah. Anybody else have one that like a song that or just blew your dinosaur. mind when you heard it when you were younger? I always liked the red red wine one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when Jordan was growing up, uh, Baby Shark. Was. Yeah, <laughs> oh God. Baby Beluga. <laughs> what about you, Ellie? Any Ooh. song that like blew your mind when you were a kid? Um. Nice. Yeah, it nice. blew my mind so much that I can't remember. Yeah, it's the sound of silence. She just couldn't remember. Yeah. That's what it is. I'll go with that. <laughs> oh, or also the Bad Boys song. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, geez. This one was, was one that blew my mind. Um, uh, Tom Sawyer by Rush was at yeah. a, it. It made me change my mind about music, I think. It was. Uh, you know, and then just diving obviously into their whole collection of, of music. But I heard that song and just that opening and, and like how, it, you know, it was like probably the first thing I listened to in real stereo. Like, and then I found out how old they were and it blew my mind even more. 
I anyway. feel like Led Zeppelin did that for me. Yeah. Like every song was just weird and the Queen did that for me. Yeah, Queen was another one too. Yeah, wild. Good. Nice. If you guys are good, listening good. out there and you have a song that blew your mind, uh, feel free to drop it in the comments. Because it might have blown my mind too, but you know. We can't remember. A lot of, a lot of brain cells back We're then. very old. Uh, Paul <laughs> said, uh, Eddie Grant, Electric Avenue. Um, and it is Eddie Grant's Electric Avenue. Electric <laughs> Avenue, Shrek Donkey. Donkey. I love it. <laughs> and then we'll take it higher. Nice. Oh, we nice. gonna rock. I'm not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, we got well, two more. Shrek and Donkey, uh, Donkey never actually sang the song. Whatever. We got two more here. Technical. Here's the next Technical. one. She beat me last week. Paul Robertson said his mind was blown by anything by two live crew. I can see that. You can't see it. It's Bonus points if you can do the dance. Oh, I can do the dance. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> you can't it's prove it. it. It's a you got- I just don't know who sings this. It it's it's a tough one because First of all, there's been so many versions of it done. Uh, the, the original, you'll you'll probably never get it. I will give you a hint. It was a person, not a group. A single person. It was a woman. You don't say. That's all I'm going to say. I do say. I do say. I do declare. Claire, Saint <laughs> Paul Claire? said song by the wedding DJ guy. <laughs> True. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. <laughs> all right. What do you guys got? I know you got the song name. Uh, <laughs> electric Slide Aretha Franklin. No, Jordan, nothing? Not even you didn't Electric, know the electric slide. slide? An Electric I Slide by a everyone. I moment of weakness, okay? <laughs> That's fair, I guess. <laughs> Wrong. The brain uh, is shutting down. It is, not, it is not understandable when she sings the song. <laughs> uh, yeah. It is the Electric Slide. Marsha Griffiths. You S at the end? Yes, with an, S, with an S at the end. Griffiths. More than one. All right, you guys ready for the final clue? Sure. That's a banger. It's good. I've been doing so great. And even if I could, I wouldn't turn on you. And I would stop. That's one of the songs I want to listen to the whole thing. It just annoys me that this is a little clip. Here it is one more time for you. And even if I could, I wouldn't turn on you. And I would stop. I'm, uh, uh, uh. I know. I don't know the name of the song. I don't either. I know somebody. I know somebody who's in it. Okay. Any hey, like, listen. Like personal. Any answer that you put down on the board is, uh, you know, we're not judging you by. Uh, you are judging me every day. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Only right. Judy can judge you. What do you guys got here? Electrified love, Dua Lipa. You got Dua Lipa right. Do everybody got Dua Lipa? Song name irrelevant is what Ellie said. High well, energy Dua Lipa. I agree with that. Um, it's actually uh, the name of the topic of of our uh, of our name that tune. It's called Electricity. Uh, it's Dua Lipa. And, even if I could, I wouldn't turn and on Silk you. City and Diplo. And I would stop- Doesn't matter what the song name is. Just Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Nice. Dua Lipa. You guys did pretty good. That's what shocking. Really good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get into a little special segment here, a little surprise. It, it's not a surprise anymore, but uh, it, it's it, still a surprise. But it was a surprise before you got here, um, because Easter is just around the corner. Is I've it? I've put together a little Easter egg hunt for all of the people here in the uh, in the lounge for all the cast. Ellie won. <laughs> so. Uh, listen, <laughs> y'all got to be fast because it's right here. <laughs> listen, <laughs> very important. Uh, there are 20 eggs. So I'm, let me lay the rules out real quick because it's very, Where's it's very bucket? important. No elbows. <laughs> I don't have. I, I, no Lord w- of the Flies. Listen, thing. so I went out. I was trying to find cute little Easter baskets for you guys, but they didn't have any. So they're all sold out already. And I thought I had one Easter basket, but I've I recently <laughs> tossed it. I've had it for years and then I recently tossed it. And now, of course. I would, I would probably use an Jordan Easter basket. Jordan sold it online. You didn't toss it. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably more true. <laughs> um, so listen, uh, so what I'm going to do is you guys are going to go and get the Easter egg. It's, it's very important that you do not open them because there's more to the game. So you get your Easter eggs, you bring them back to your space, 
and uh, there's 20 of them, and they are here in the lounge, okay. all around. They're behind me. They're everywhere, I believe. So, um, Do we just use our shirt as the basket? How are we going to hold yeah, them? I'm going to yeah, shove them in my bra. Just shove them in your bra. They are here in the lounge. They are in the living room, and they are in the bar area, which is a disaster now. It's um, full of ants. Full of ants, and everything's everywhere, so that might make it even <laughs> more difficult. But please find... There's 20. So just find as many as you can and bring them back. I'll... I'll I have no idea where and I And then there's them. another game. Are you going to entertain the, the folks? I will entertain the Derek's folks. Derek's ready. He's got one foot out of the chair already. All right. Are we ready? Oh, 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 that's not a drum roll anymore, <laughs> but it is awesome. All right. So um, they're going to take off. And uh, so let's go to let's go to the, the room cam here. Uh, on the count of three, we're going to send you guys off for the Easter egg hunt. Happy Easter and go. No one don't count. Go, go, go. Oh All right, Derek, how many eggs did you find? Nine. You were clearly the winner. Big winner. What about you, Jordan? How many did you find? I have five. All right, Ellie. Five. So five, five, and nine makes 19. Good Math. job. Thank you. How many did you hide behind you? Because I only found one back there. I honestly do not remember. Okay. Yeah. No, I do. I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. The game is <laughs> lost really forever. It's lost forever. All right, you guys. So here's the deal. Within the eggs, there are some delicious ones. Oh God. And there are some not so delicious oh. jelly beans. Again. <laughs> this is your opportunity. To trade with one another, mm. any egg that you suspect could be the foul one. Without looking? Without the looking. foul one? Foul one. Well, that's stupid. Why would we switch? Well, if you're not ready to switch, then you get to pick one and crack it open and either get to enjoy a sweet treat or something Do not so Do you want to so try sweet. one too? <laughs> I, uh... Do you know which ones are good and bad? I tell you what, There's you all pick to trade this one. You all pick one. It smells weird. I just <laughs> smelled them all. You pick one for me. Any of you can pick one of yours for me, and I will. I will. No, take, I don't want to trade that I will one. Take that one. That one's awful. Well, you can't sniff them. This I feel like this is <laughs> against the rules too. I'm, I have allergies, so I can't really smell anything anymore. All right, you guys pick the one you want to eat. Okay. And then, and then. Between the three of you, you pick one for me, for old Brad. Did you just rub this one on your shirt? I did. It smells like your clothes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was like, she won't know. That's funny. Smart, clever tactic. All right, Derek. Since you have more, you give me give me one out of your pile. And what, you go first. What do we want to give him? A blue one. Oh. Nope. Should have that one. Let me do that one. He yeah. knows they're I don't good. Know. I don't know. Pink is good. <laughs> Honestly, they're equal. They're, they're equally divided. What if they're all bad? No, I wouldn't do that. Well, I'm going to find out because. Yeah, can't you let have the away. most. I'm glad right. I only got five at this Are point. Are you guys ready to crack open your Easter surprise? Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, shit. How do, how do you know? Brett? Oh, I know. Oh, no. What, what do I got? Is you got the good ones. Pino? Yes. Jordan did not to get the good ones. What'd you get? They look like Robin's eggs. You got the good ones. Oh, yay. That's just me yay. and Jordan. All right, Jordy. Well, you were feeling salty. Hope you got a it's drink like over there. It's like birthday cake. All right. There's no sense in uh, trying to decipher which ones are Does which. This one have mold. You're, I, you're doing all no, of no. them. You might not want to do that one. No. It's not mold. It's all just of them. literally the hottest jelly bean. All oh, of it's them. the hot one? It's the hot ones. All right. All of them. Jordan. Ready? Do I just do one? Which no. one's you the least You may hot? you may have to do you could just do one. No. No. You have all to eat them. them all. Did you just eat them all? Yes. Yeah, you have the delicious confetti funfetti cake. Oh yeah, ones. it was so good. Pick another color. Pick one. I'll do another one. You're doing all oh, of them. Oh jeez. Oh no, no. Of the ones I found. All right. I will I will Purple. you do another one and I'll I will eat these ones. Are you guys shocked yet out there? Oh my god, those are so good. <gasps> I want cake now. Yes. Oh, yeah, the hot the purple ones. ones are bad. Purple's oh, horrible. She had a purple one. Cheers. Oh. They're they're evenly distributed, by the way. Are so we doing a, another sorry. one? Or you guys are still on your first one, right? Yeah, we haven't done a Derek. Okay, Derek has a lot, so okay. I'll All wait. right. Bottoms up. All of them, Jordan. No, the one 
beans jalapeno oh my all god get in there the ghost you ate a cricket eat some jelly beans the crickets are better eat the crickets where's the ants all of them where's the bugs i ate all of them oh god i hate my life all the hot ones them. aren't bad. It's the dog food one that you got to look out for. I've got two I'm of the green I'm only doing ones. one. Oh, my God. You have four in there. Yeah, there's four in this one. I like the hot ones. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're too busy bickering. We're missing Brad's You put software. all of those in there. Put them all in what your mouth. What if I could do a magic trick? <laughs> no. You, you chew them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. It's all in my teeth. Jordan. Oh, sweet, delicious, fun, fetty cake. Chew. Oh, wow, they're really hard. <laughs> oh, they're probably old, too. They're old as hell. Oh, uh, hot. Uh-uh. I'm a man of my word. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Ellie, delicious just- cake. This is cake. <laughs> she got the hiccups. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Oh, I don't like that. Amazing. Oh my God. Woo! Okay. Okay. I think I'm wow. better now. Since oh Ellie is the only one that is uh, got her shit together. <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> Did you make I them all another, hot? No, I found I, another. No. Cake one. Oh, oh, I got confetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't open them. You can, okay. Oh, shit. Now, I you're just, we're ganja. now everybody's just going through them. I oh. thought we were on to the next one. How, we don't need to eat them all. It was just kind of a one and done. Oh, no. We're going through all of them. Okay. I got fun confetti. There you go. Jordan's got the Your neighbor over nice there said ones. you're doing all of them. Cake. Mm. Yes. It's very easy to tell the difference. The white ones are cake. The other ones are hot. <laughs> all right. Oh, my um, God. All of mine were hot except for one. Jesus. What okay. Is this, one? Whew. this isn't mine. Yes, it is. No, I Listen, have Listen, guys. Five. Oh, God. We're going to take a quick break because I need, I need to rally up. <laughs> I need to rally up. Um, Ooh, a hot one. When we come back, we're going to uh, get into our midweek motivation. Ellie's Bad Bitch Bible Study. And um, Chuck Keller Trivia. And then, yes, of course, we'll get into some shock collar trivia because this is our shocking episode after all. Woo. Ooh, the hot ones are hard. Yeah, they're a little old. <laughs> they're a little old. All right, you guys. Stick around. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. We are back. We need these on. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll strap those on. But oh. first, we're going to get into Ellie's bad bitch. Bible study. Let's do it. All right. I'm recovering a little bit from some hot jelly beans. Boy, yeah, they were hot. Um, (laughs) You look very festive over there. (laughs) (laughs) Lots of colors. This is what my uh, house looks like. It's all pink and blue. Oh, nice. Um, okay. My mouth's on fire. <laughs> like any bad bitch. Yeah. Um, when you're setting these long-term goals for yourself, um, you can have an idea of like how long you think it might take for you to reach it. However... Don't ever set a a time frame or a time limit on the the big picture goal that you're trying to achieve. Um, you just gotta get up every day and work towards it. Because life throws little obstacles in your way. You don't know what's gonna come up. You don't know, you know, like two years ago, none of us had any idea that we were gonna go through a pandemic that was gonna change our lives could be indefinitely now, you know, Um, but for those two years, everything that we were planning on doing with our lives just kind of got put on hold. So if you're setting a deadline for yourself, for your big goals, all you're doing is setting yourself up for failure. You're allowing yourself an opportunity to disappoint yourself and to fail. 
So don't set a time frame. Have your big goal, your big picture idea in plan and every day get up and work towards it. In the days that you can't, that's okay. Don't allow that to set you back. Just keep getting up every day, working towards it. Um, and you're as long as you're consistent, you're going to be successful. If you are not consistent, nothing's going to change. It's going to take way longer than you're planning. But if you follow through every day, it can be baby steps. It can be leaps and bounds. But as long as you are working forward every day towards that goal, you will reach it and you're going to be successful. Yeah. I love that message too. Um, you know, because I, I believe that it, it's, um, let me, uh, sorry, I'm still dying over here. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Put myself in frame so I can chat with you a little bit. Um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, obviously having the big goal is, is the reason to get up every morning, you know, and, and they say to set the small goals, the small achievable goals, because that keeps you in perpetual motion, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, if you're like, I want to be a rock star, you know, and if you wake up every day wondering why you're not a rock star, you know, or you say, I want to be a rock star by the time I'm 30, Right, you know, and then thirty comes around, and you're not anywhere near where you want to be. Like, you know, that it is a very easy way to become disappointed very quickly. Oh yeah, and people have these big goals where you know, like mine right now is I want to, I want to focus on my health and well being, get myself healthy at a healthy weight, and you know, become stronger. You know, I'm not trying to really lose weight, but I want to be stronger. I want to be healthier and just in general, you know, more comfortable in my body and things that, you know, like that. So that's my long term goal is to just get to a point where I'm I feel good. And my short term girl goals are, OK, I'm going to go to the gym four days a week. Exactly. Yeah. That's and, perfect. and I make sure that I do that. And, you know, you can be you can have those weeks where you're like, OK, I only went three days this week. Still better than zero days, <laughs> yeah, you know, 100%. and then it'd be like, OK, so on like, you know, my third day because I want to go four days now, I'm just going to double my time up or something like that. You know, it's easier to to make up that time on them short term goals than it is to make up time on a, a larger scale. Because if I'm saying I want to be in the best shop of my life in a year and a year passes by <laughs> and I'm not like now I'm like, wow, I'm a piece of shit. Right. But, you're going to be very disappointed. Right. Yeah. But if I'm like, OK, you know, my short term goal that I'm putting a time limit on or, you know, restrictions on whatever. So I want to go to the gym four days a week. If it turns out that that's hard for me to do, well, then, OK, I'm going to go three days a week. And then if I can do that consistently, however long that takes me to get to that point, I know eventually I'll get there if I'm consistent with it. 100%. I love that. Yeah. Great goal. So give us the give us the 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 conclusion. Um know what you want and get up every day and and work towards it. And don't give yourself that false hope of in a year I'll have this. Just work towards it, and eventually, if you put in that work, it will come to you. You'll Love see it. results. Love it. The bad bitch. Very insightful, as always. Not stoked about this next segment. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> That's okay. I, I wasn't going to push it because, uh, because uh, you know, you were you were in the zone. And yes, we are strapping into our. Wait, uh, where is Jordan's? Jordan has I am the receiver. The question reader. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's I have the power. That's bullshit. Uh, to you see guys, the future. It's time for another round of shock collar trivia. This is Truth Hurts. All right, we're going to go around and do a test vibrate. They're not on, so if you've not pressed it, it does one beep when it's on. I pressed mine. Yeah. I am one. 
Where's the button? There we go. Okay. One beep. There's oh, Derek. yeah, there it is. Yeah. Derek is two. I'm so excited. And Ellie is oh, three. Yeah. All right. What level are we doing? Uh, I Start set it for 10, 10, which is always a good start. Derek, finally, is on board. Finally. You guys in this game, the three of us strap into our shot so collars. We go up by five. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, I'm feeling Five well tonight. Question. We did say that this was the shocking game oh, today. Whatever. We strap into the collars yeah. and attempt to answer some weird trivia questions delivered by the amazing Jordan. If we get them right, we live to fight. Get them wrong, and the collars come on. <laughs> oh, my God. You know he wrote that shit on the toilet or wow. something. Who writes this? <laughs> 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 All right. Are you guys ready to play? I'm ready to go. Oh, God. Bring All right. It. Let's go. All right. I'll pick All right. The questions. And listen, you guys can uh, answer in the chats. I'm uh, not looking at them, uh, but Jordan can see if you've uh, if you've answered them correctly. So uh, feel free to play along out there. We love that. I handpicked some great ones. Oh, boy. Fantastic. Ooh, she's got like 20 questions, too. Only eight. So we're. We could go with... up pretty high. Oh, oh boy. God. I'm going to start with my favorite one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's cracking Jordan up already. It's so yeah. perfect. What's it called when water splashes back up at your butthole after you take a large <laughs> dump? <laughs> Okay. Oh, the choices are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> the choices are A, the refresher, <laughs> B, Neptune's kiss, <laughs> C, the back alley bit it, oh, D, butthole bathing. What's it called when water splashes back up at your butthole after you take a large dump? A, the refresher. B, Neptune's kiss. C, the back alley bit it. Or D, butthole bathing. I like how you called it bit it and not bidet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Been- <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Y'all seen that bit it? <laughs> Cleans your booty hole. So Jordan's friend uh, and my friend too, and uh, all our friends. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, go home. Jeremy chimed in uh, and uh, corrected Get out of here. <laughs> uh, Kevin McLaughlin said, "If it's a portalette, it's called the blue splash rash." <laughs> oh my! <God. laughs> I like the interpretation. I don't think this mine is, is right, but I uh. wish it was right. I, I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> what, what, I think I know this I, one. So do I. What do you guys have? Neptune's kiss, Neptune's kiss, Neptune's kiss. <gasps> oh. Dang, guys, you all got it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's not the bit it. <laughs> it was in a movie I watched recently. Oh, the bit it. Oh. I'm going to go install one of these she bit it. just hit her head on the microphone. <laughs> Jordan's oh. cut off. No more jelly beans. <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh. More, no more. I just no want you guys Celsius to understand Jordan. how how bougie Jordan has become. Jordan comes in; she doesn't drink with us anymore. She has her her little water bottle. She comes charcuterie in charcuterie board. She comes in with her charcuterie board uh, with with fine cheeses and turkey turkey and cheese pepperoni sticks. and cheese sticks. Uh, yes, and she doesn't have to get shocked with us. So she is the poshest motherfucker on this whole I'm show. Elite. Yes, you I'm are elite. elite. You are. The elite. Okay. Or Elite. You are the elite. I'm Elite. Elite. You know, we it's, should it's get this new. girl a yeah. bit it. <laughs> she doesn't even have to wipe her own ass. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Wow. Can't make like, this shit up. Like, <laughs> but you can wash the shit out. <laughs> ah. Okay. All right. Hope no children are watching tonight. Oh, I hope my shit. bosses don't watch this. <laughs> I hope my boss does. <laughs> now, All right, next question. This is a gross I'm one. Impressed. Good this on is a this gross is the one? gross one? <laughs> I was hoping you all would say that. <laughs> oh, How gross is it? Uh-huh. It's what not you, a bit. What were you going to say? You're impressed that everyone knew that? I'm impressed oh. that, that it was 
that that answer was right because I was like, I want it to be Neptune's kiss. (laughs) Your feet sweat approximately this much fluid per year. Is it A, 10 gallons, B, 23 gallons, C, 18 gallons, or D, 1.5 gallons? Ooh, I'm, I'm going bigger going home. Your feet sweat approximately this much fluid per year. Does it? A, 10 gallons, B, 23 gallons, C, 18 gallons, or D, 1.5 gallons? It's got to be based on the shoe size. <laughs> I know my feet sweat a lot. My this is it, but this wet. is the average, right? Does it say the average? I feel like it no, just, be well, no, average. just your feet sweat approximately this much. Because mine might year. go oh. eighteen. Yours might go. Well, I literally do not put my feet in shoes, like for ninety percent like of the year. People sweat, sweat a lot through their feet, though. Mm. A lot of heat is yeah through the feet. Don't people like do detoxes through their feet because yeah. it's one of the things where you expel the most fluids? Yeah, interesting. You want to change your answer, Brad? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm going to stick with it. Solid. I'm, I'm holding solid. Mine. All right. What do you What do you guys have? I went big. I went big. 23, 23 gallons. 23. 23. Mm, I said one and a half gallons. I said, do you want to change? You said no. No. Who's right? Uh, Ellie and Derek. Oh, yes! my God. Yeah. Shock that mofo. <laughs> Wow, everyone is... A, is there a full... Can anybody verify if there's a full moon I don't out there think tonight? there is. The I, one usually I know. Y'all are in some rare-ass form tonight. Usually I know. I think it, it might be the ants. You just yeah, tried to... Ants. You just tried to get us all with fiery hot uh, jelly beans. No, 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 sir. I, April you, you, 16th is when the full moon is. So it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Three days. No, no. I, I didn't. You number one? I didn't try. I he's, he's number uh, one. I did. Oh, okay. Oh God. I didn't have to do hot. Oh please. Oh, it's not working. Again. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, wait. Maybe it is now. Oh. Ah! No. It's Wrong not. number. Oh my God. This is the worst. It's like a malfunctioning <laughs> so bad, electric right? chair. All right, just do it. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oh. oh, the first one's the I rough. The first cut's the deepest, man. You're oh need no! That one day to like restart. Now Brad's we're up heart. to fifteen. I know, right? <laughs> now just we're up to his chest. Well, I, I had a little. 15. I had a little like pre-show with it earlier. I did it oh, to myself. Do tell. <laughs> he did it to himself. I did Go a figure. Uh, I did a social media story or a Facebook and Instagram story where I shocked myself just to. Uh, On what level, though? It was 10. Literally nobody saw it. I don't think anybody watched my story, oh, wow. you sons of bitches. Ouch. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't watch it. Thanks, Ellie. I didn't even know you posted it. I didn't get the alert. Derek, <sighs> to be Brad? fair, I was asleep. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have a little, uh, during what? Shameless Plugs, we're going to talk shit about Facebook Derek a little bit. Derek and Brad, oh, what? Okay. This next one's for you guys. Oh, oh God. Because oh. you're old. Oh, oh. Wow. Well, thank you, Jordan. Right. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> The world's oldest prostitute on record is <laughs> Brad. A, no, he's a, a gigolo. Derek. B. Brad. No. <laughs> the world's oldest prostitute on record is A. Fifty six. B. Sixty eight. C. Eighty five. Or D. Ninety eight. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Is the world's oldest prostitute on record fifty six, sixty eight. 85 or 96 8 I'm sorry I can't read Hold 98 on, wait. 56 68 85 98 Wow I'm ready I am also ready Yeah same Okay what do you guys got here Derek says 98 Ellie says 85 I also said and 85 Brad says 85 Oh my gosh you guys are on a roll tonight it is 85. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Derek. What channel number? yourself. Enjoy 15, this right? one. Yes, 15. Let me uh, get on the right I'm just channel. setting myself I'm, up. I'm Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I, wanna, I want Derek to get. I'm not even going to respond. You're no, oh, he's not even going to move. Will you blink? Of course. Oh, okay. you blink? Of course. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> It made a beeping noise too in my headphones. Oh, weird! I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> that was good. Oh, that's gonna be a nice, uh, 
I wanted to put it on you specifically so I could get a nice screenshot later. <laughs> get the- Jeremy said 85 also. Oh, good nice. job. Jeremy. Good job, Jeremy. Crushed it. Excellent. We're up to 20 now. This- oh, God. Heaven. Oh. Heavens, oh, Jesus. I have to win all of them Got to up the ante here before I forget. Great. We don't want anyone to get left You're going to up the ante? Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we got <laughs> plenty of ante. that. The no. Gonna up the <laughs> JB's the jelly beans. Anyway, okay. <laughs> the JB's the jelly beans. You know what I'm talking Shane, about? No clue, beans. baby. People use empty Pringles cans for hundreds of different <laughs> reasons, but perhaps the weirdest use ever is a a homemade flashlight. B their creator flashlight, of- right? Yes. Not a flesh. Okay. Flash light. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. The creator of the can had his ashes buried in one. Campers use it as a makeshift toilet or canisters for homemade explosives. People use empty Pringles cans for hundreds of different reasons, but perhaps the weirdest use ever is A, a homemade flashlight. B, the creator of the can had his ashes buried in one. C, campers use it as a makeshift toilet. D, canisters for homemade explosives. See, I think I think all four of these are things that they've been used for. Just which is the weird man? Yeah. Just the so people, you know, the people that make tennis balls were so chill at one time. A shipment of potatoes came in, and they said, fuck it, cut them up. And now we have Pringles. Tennis balls? It's the same container. Oh, that. Okay, but legit. No, that was Pringles it. cans <laughs> are perfect for making candles. Because they peel away really easily. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh. I see. Mm-hmm. But yes, I said uh, be Pringles to ashes. I said, to ashes. <laughs> I said, I said ashes. Ex- I said explosives. <gasps> and Ellie and Derek are right. <laughs> you are lucky. What the hell? Oh, yeah. That's okay. The last one I'm going to lose and I'm going to get my ass handed to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah. rolling up through the... Uh, 25. You know, so. Sh- oh, wait. It's no, only we're on 20. 20. Damn. Thank God. Oh, uh, wait, 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 oh. wait, 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 wait. Oh. Put it I right wanna, on his face. I want to put it right on it because I want to get these <laughs> screenshots. Okay. Okay. You better make it a good one. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's not working again. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the anticipation. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> We've only got five more questions. And we're on 25 now. This is horrific. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. These are going to be great it. screenshots, I'm though. so excited only four more questions yeah if we want to do all four yeah let's let's just go for it this is the this is a shocking episode by the way true i mean yeah and and it's been a rare form and we know derek's gonna push for at least two more questions and i know know the shocking part of this is that the last question jordan and i switch oh that wasn't an <laughs> all I know is after this I have to that deal with an shocking. ant problem, so I'd rather just sit here all night and get shocked. Ah, uh, touche, pussycat. Touche. <laughs> A study showed that when they're denied sex, male fruit flies. A try to have sex with any insect. B search out foods containing alcohol. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> make a loud buzzing sound, or D, have sex with each other. A study showed that when they're denied sex, male fruit flies A, try to have sex with any insect, B, search out foods containing alcohol, C, make a loud buzzing no- sound, or D, have sex with each other. I don't want to get shocked again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I might lose this one. <laughs> don't fuck it up, everyone. I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, <Whatever>. same. <laughs> shocked. I'm ready. <laughs> what do, what, I'm all ready. right. All right. What do you guys have? I have gay sex. Gay sex. <laughs> the male on male. I said, I, I said search out alcohol. 
Oh my God, and Brad is right. Oh, oh no. no. Isn't that ironic? Don't you think? Go figure he's, think. Go figure he's right about alcohol. Yeah, he would get that one right. <sighs> and the inside. Ellie, are you ready? No. Oh, no. All right. Tell me, bad. tell me who you're gonna do first, because I wanna, and, I wanna and, s- switch over to them. And which, uh, yeah, how? What are we on? Twenty five. Yeah. Oh, Ellie is the first. The first. Oh god. I'm not happy. This is not good. I don't want to do it. You're gonna have to do I it. I do. Just do it. Here, I'll get. Give That's it to fine. me. I'll hit the button. Okay, we're gonna do Ellie first because you're on Ellie. I'm oh, sorry. Oh god. <laughs> oh, no, Great. It didn't work. Isn't it horrible when it doesn't work? Just press That's it once and then press it too. again. <sighs> do it for me. Get, get me. Press it one more time. Well, I can't because oh, Brad's got to get. Yeah. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what if I accidentally did Brad? Oh, God. That would be amazing. Oh, a little. <laughs> okay, now we got to go to Derek, Brad. All right. Here we go. And one Mississippi, two Mississippi, oh, ah, Kelly three Clarkson. Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Brilliant. Oh my God, I'm I'm killing it tonight. You I, got I'm shocked not, twice. I'm not, I've got shot twice. <laughs> you can't bite your tongue. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, folks. A Seattle woman drank a warm glass of this daily to clear her acne as well as her complexion. Urine. Was it A, dog piss, B, <laughs> breast milk, C, chicken grease, or D, placenta cocktail? Oh, a what C- is that? <laughs> a Seattle woman drank a warm glass of this daily to clear her acne as well as her complexion. Was it A, dog piss? Was it B, breast milk? Was it C, chicken grease, or was it D, the famous placenta cocktail? I'm going to get shocked for sure. Jeremy said so nasty. <laughs> right? All Which of one? that is yeah. gross. <laughs> 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 All right. What do you guys got? <laughs> Titty juice for the I face place. I put the B. <laughs> Oh, you put you put the uh, breast milk too. Okay, yeah, but it I said been, piss. It could have been the placenta. But it was ninety nine cents. <laughs> it could have been the placenta cock. I'm okay. <laughs> you placenta guys are, cock. Placenta cock. Cocktail. You, you guys are on the same like pattern page tonight. Brad is correct with the dog piss. Yes, oh, no. dog I piss. said oh, urine. No. I said. You can't urine guess two you. answers. You said urine, but then you circled B, and then I you did. also put D. Yeah, so you said all but of I them. I said A before you even read the... <laughs> all right. Jeremy said literally all the above. <laughs> One big cocktail of everything. That should do the trick, I would think. A, B, all right. Are we Who's near it? Ellie? It's on 30. Oh, I'm my good. heavens, Jesus. Oh, my God, we still have two more cards. This is awful. <sighs> Worst that can happen is a 40. Okay. And we're going. <laughs> oh, no. I can't look. And we're going. <laughs> oh, oh. oh God. <laughs> It's so good. I'm so sorry. I'm sweating. Okay. So, <laughs> let me I should come I up, with a, I I should should come up with a shock cam. I need to ask this question. What's it going to take for you to wear the collar? A level on one a shock. Ten. Oh. On a 10. What would it take? A 10? What would it take? You're out your damn We're mind. We're at 30 right now. Probably at least two Xanax, and then we can okay, talk. Okay, what would it take for a five? <laughs> well, listen, I just I just want to throw this out there. Next week, on Wednesday, it's 420. Oh, so you want me to take Xanax on <laughs> 420? <laughs> just saying. You know that we, we have is some... Wednesday four twenty. Yes, it is. is. Oh, it's going. We down. should all be on edibles. Okay, so don't give all our secrets away. <laughs> no. but, uh, okay, but we do have a fun four twenty themed show. <laughs> uh, my friend Dave Balin. Oh Lord, of uh, Dave and uh, Dave Balin okay, and the bailouts. You're, you're getting off topic. I'm this just is, saying. Well, it's it a came shameless up. plug. No, we're time. trying to figure out how we're going to get. It came you. up. Oh. So so you know, there, there's an opportunity for relaxation. 
We so, won't talk about anything specific. I have a doctor's note that so says if I we, can't participate. If we part, <laughs> if we shocked you on a level one, you would wear it. You said that at the beginning of this conversation. Yeah, and as long as you're not in control of the remote, that's also important Deal. to them. We can shock her level one as many times as we want. Ellie, at the end of this, they're at savage. The end of this, I know you're in control of the thing. You guys heard it. She is going to wear the shot collar at a level say one. That. We'll ask you one question. If you get it right, you're I, good. I, I if you get it wrong, level one by Ellie. She's memorized all them cards. All of them. I didn't say it would be one off those cards. It has to be True. off the cards. It has to be. Okay, though. fine. I wish What's I What's my know? middle name? <clears throat> Elizabeth. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> What's my middle name? Edward. Not even close. <laughs> 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 one. <laughs> What's Derek's middle name? Oh, my God. I'm dropping shit over here. All right. Next question. Wait, is it Edward? You're getting a one. It's really not. It's not even close. Oh. I don't even know what Oh, his isn't it something is. with a C? <laughs> 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 Rhymes with bunt? Next. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nice. Oh, my God. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Final question, or we have two more? We have two we have more. Two okay. More. So back, Dos back Three to reality. Three if you count Jordan's question. It's, you said next week. No, I said this week. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go after this. <laughs> Every day, all of the people in the world produce 94.1 million gallons of, is it A, snot, B, poop, C, P, or D, farts? Every day, all of the people in the world produce 94.1 million gallons of A, snot, B, poop, C, P, or D farts. There's been a lot of questions about. They're all about sex or bodily functions, for yeah, sure. Bodily yeah, bodily fluids from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You already write yours down. I did. Oh. Everybody ready? Ready. I'm Sorry, ready. I was. Um... Okay, Ellie has piss. <laughs> <laughs> Derek has poop. And Brad has piss, but it was 99 Burrito. cents. <laughs> and the correct answer, you are all losers. It is D, it is farts. How do you measure you farts in gallon gallons? Fart. I don't know what a dumb game. This game might all be bullshit. I don't know. You can't measure gas in gallons. I mean, I guess Ridiculous. you can. In, I guess you can in like a bullshit. I don't know. I guess, you know, propane gas is, is a gas. weighted by pounds, right? Well, I, I call shenanigans, but uh, anybody out there in uh, scientific land? Let's land, do this. Even uh, even David chiming in said P. Yeah. Oh. So wait, we're on 35 now. God. What is a fart other than just gaseous poop? All right. Who's going so first? <laughs> right, Jordy. Gaseous poop. Yeah. Oh, shit. I get shocked. Everyone gets it. And we're going around the room wait, wait, wait. really quick. Who's first? Shit. And we're going around the room really quick. Who's first? Oh, okay. Well, it's on Brad. So. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, you're a dick. Man. Oh. That's, a, that's the dickest thing you've ever done, Jordan. Of course. I got too excited with my song and I hit the button. <laughs> that's the dickest thing you've ever done. I'm crying. This whole show. <laughs> Since its inception, you straight. We're like we're going around the room, looking straight at me, really genuinely believing what you were doing, and then you shock Derek. Brilliant. I'm so sorry. Okay. No. Brilliant. Yeah, the tears say you're sorry. <laughs> Brilliant. And we're going around the room, shocking Brad. Your thing's not working again. Fuck me. Well, why is mine keep working? <laughs> We're going around the room. Shocking, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> We're going around the room. Shocking, Ellie. <laughs> I was going to say, I already got uh, it. It's not working again. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Press once and then press again. These suck for the dogs, don't they? And we're shocking Ellie. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I do declare. I got it in the neck meat, so it doesn't hurt. It's just like it's <laughs> right in the, the muscle neck reaction. <sighs> the neck meat. I'm trying to Delicious. use it as like a slight massage. David's killing me. He's a, he's, he's a shock a mid question. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Masochist. Nice. Killer. Last 
question. And what number are we up to? 40. Oh, my heavens. My heart can't take this. <laughs> you better get it right then. I hope you all get this right. I feel like it should maybe be pretty I hope easy. Brad gets it wrong. I hope so too. It's Thank either going to be he gets it right or no. you two get it right. That's Must like be the wonderful. Pairing that's happening tonight. <laughs> How's it feel on your high horse, Derek? Oh man, I cried a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, shocked me on accident. That's quote just, unquote. Hilarious. <laughs> I got really excited. Okay, which U.S. city was ranked the rattiest city in 2019? I'm sorry, the rattiest? Rattiest. Rattiest. A T, not a D. R-A-T-T-I-E-S-T. So like straight up rats? I think so. Okay. Well, I know where the antiest <laughs> city in the country is. <laughs> True. That's the bonus question. <laughs> uh, a, New York. B, Chicago. C, Tampa. Or D, Los Angeles. Which hmm. U.S. city was ranked the rattiest city in 2019? A, New York, B, Chicago, C, Tampa, or D, Los Angeles? I'm I really hope you all get it right. You. Oh. I guess the one that I least. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. What do you guys got? New York? City of Angels. Oh. I said New York, but also Boca Raton. Because <laughs> it means rat mouth. Yeah, rat mouth. That's good. That's funny. Partial credit for you, Brad. I'll take it. Uh, the great news is you're all wrong. Uh, it's the answer, Chicago? Yeah. I was going to go Chicago. Chicago second. What a filthy city. <sighs> Tramps. Wow. So we all get shocked on the last Somehow, question. somehow. We're all going out with the shock. Somehow Chicago I thinks. Somehow Chicago thinks no. that it's okay to completely turn their to. river green oh. on St. Patty's Day. <clears throat> and there's just and just everybody's cool with it, right? But our whole river is green because of Lake O. And uh, you know, it's an environmental disaster. Well, yeah, because ours is, is green because of toxic algae. Poop. Yours is green because of food dye. Around forty. We're on 40. Okay. Do you I think it dies the fish the, green too? I don't know. Or are you just going to go around the room for That's real this time, Jordan? I, I changed the location. It's closer to my. I don't know, Brad. Oh, God. You're going to die. Area. I don't know what I'm doing. Why are you doing that? I want to see what happens. Oh, God. What if you can't oh, speak afterwards? God. Yeah, we have a radio show to get through. Should we start with you, Brad? Yes. And work our way around? Yes. Oh, so I'm getting shocked first again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, One more time. Everybody's feeling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't stop. Oh, this is terrible. Well, sweet. Okay, I'm going. Oh. <laughs> Put it on, Jordan. No. Level one. No. Level one is Level nothing. One. It might be something. It's fine. Level one. It's really not that big a deal. And I'll give you one more chance to guess my middle name. I don't know your middle name. That's not my name. I'll I'll give you a hint once you get it to one and have the shot color on. Can I shock myself? Yeah. Okay. This is shocking. This is a shocking episode, so we're shocking you now. If I die, it's on your watch. I know CPR. I also know the number to Domino's. For pizza for me and Papa John's. I don't even know how to put it on. <laughs> my well, your neck, neck is, is so much bigger. Your than neck hers. is this big now. Is that how big your neck is. Oh my God! Holy Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Thought I had a big neck. Okay, you ready for your hint? Wait, where's the best spot on the side? Yeah, yep. the side. yeah, like the right here. Oh God, I got the cord. I'll take right, right at the okay. jugular. Are you ready for your hint? Like there? Yeah. I'm on the right. Shit. Okay. The the first letter of my middle name is in the second half of the alphabet. What a terrible clue. Pretty good clue. Do you know it? No, he I don't. doesn't. I feel like you've told me before. I have. The second half, so that means like after K? Yeah. Or L? After N. After N. See, I, I even shortened it for you. I was going to say it's an R. 
Is it a common name? I'd say it's pretty common. I think I know it. Instincts are saying Robert, but I don't know. Is that your I final want that answer? to be my final answer. <clears throat> or maybe it's an S. I say we give her a, a countdown, guys. Oh, no. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven Richard, six, six, five. Final answer? No. Derek. Four. Four. Wow, she said Derek. your middle Derek. name is Three. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Trish she calls Dick me a Zoogle. C word and now I'm a dick. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Three. Um, two. One. one. What's your final zero. answer? Robert. Wrong. Shock yourself. Damn it all to hell. And then you'll Shocker. tell us. I will. Okay. And then do you want to watch me do it? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I don't know if I can see it. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> hit do the it. button. Oh wow! <laughs> it's nothing, right? It didn't feel great. It I felt amazing. like it went up my chin. That was my favorite part of the day. <laughs> my little name is William. That's gonna be a good screenshot. I knew it was William oh, because we bollocks. have a friend named Derek Williams. Exactly. And and I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Derek Williams Ugo because we had a friend named Derek Williams, and, and we, always, uh, we we bonded over that. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't oh, believe you man. guys did a forty. Jordan, you did, it. you did it. It's also bad, right? On a one. On a one. Yeah, we did 40. That was horrendous. You guys are terrible. No, David, David chimed in. He said, I would so lose this game. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, I lose I'm about just to, lose to get it the too. massage. Oh, man. I'm well, about to lose it into the trash can. The whole game? The shock collars. Your, oh, the shock collars. Your bowels. That too. I lost that ages ago, so here we are, let's sitting get, in shit. Let's get the bidet. <laughs> <laughs> the bid it. bid it. Oh, Lord. All right, you guys. Let's do our shameless plug. No, no, no. I can still feel my neck tingle. <laughs> that was level one. Very tingly. I am very weak. Like, very tingly. I am very weak. I am very weak like old lady. All right, you guys. You're a golden girl all together. Yeah. We're going to go around the room. Um... I had a couple things I wanted to talk about, too. I don't remember what I wanted to you talk about. You wanted to rage about Facebook. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that. Was there anything else? I have a shameless plug. All right. Oh. All right, Jordan, go first. For once in my miserable life. Miserable. Wow. Salty as shit tonight, I tell you guys. What, what, what's your shameless plug? Well, I would just like to give a shameless plug to um, my new place of employment, we I just started a new job the other week and we sell um, different supplements and some hair products and it's called Hush and Hush Shh. and <laughs> <laughs> hush, hush. The, the secret is science and um, I should have probably came a little more prepared and had examples but there's some little products so we make one for like sleep aid and um, you know all natural whatever for your skin um, a plant your day, which is kind of like for your gut health. There's an immune, like a multivitamin type of situation. Um, and some for your hair. So yeah, if you're interested in any kind of, you know, supplemental needs, come talk to your girl and it's very nice. I've been taking it for like a week and a half now and doing well. So That's awesome. thumbs up. Nice. And I can nice. educate you on all of them because I've watched all the training videos. All of them. All of them. All nice. 50 what do they have for men? Four of them. And and hair growth. They're all for men and women and children. And hair growth. We'll talk after the show. It's not for me. It's for a friend of mine. Oh. Okay. We'll talk after the show. I'll get you hooked up. Anyway, that was it. And support local. They're in Jupiter. So okay. Cool. Thanks. <coughs> Thanks. Well done. Thank you. Hush. Hush and hush. Hush now. Hush oh. and hush now. Oh, oh. No, I'm just I'm kidding. <laughs> Who's next? And Anybody you're else? done. Anybody else got anything? No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> um, I will okay. say this though. Oh, here we go. I will say this though, Brad. You are one lucky some. Not only do you have Jordan in your life, myself and Ellie in your life, but your damn shot collar's not working. <laughs> oh. But you so still have on. <laughs> oh, I do still have it on. Wow, I am. I've been trying to shock you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Let me just go ahead and remove this. Wow. Good I job. I would have finished the show with it. 
<laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Felt like it was part that's of That's hilarious. <laughs> I was trying. So hard. That's, that's the funniest it's, thing. <laughs> it's a good thing you got that color, huh, Brad? Wow, I'm impressed. That's Sneaky. impressive. You would have got me hard. I would have. I was waiting for the camera <laughs> oh, to go back yeah. to you, and I hit it, and I was like, dang. Yeah, that would be so genuine, dang. too. Oh, man. Was it on 40? Uh, yes, I left it on whatever number you had it on. Wow. That would have been a surprise. That's hilarious. That's <laughs> yeah, a good real, shameless plug. Yeah, would have been was, shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking for that shocking experience on the show yeah. today. Shock value. What about you, Ellie? You got anything? Um, no. All right. I, know, I think we're good. Good, good, good. What, you know, I, I'm still dead serious. I, I want to do like a, like a shot collar relay. And uh, and where we have to like run in the backyard here and like you know like do stupid holding shit. an egg holding an egg and on like a spoon and like some somebody's just randomly nailing us with you know we have to like live through it yeah but Jordan has to actually participate and that's not going to happen so. I mean, no no it's she was, than the some, somebody gun thing. listen somebody has to run it so um, it we've got Colby who can't wear it. Are you kidding? Colby's going to want to be strapped right? into it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but he can't. He can shock people. That'd be the best. Oh, God. That would be the worst. As long as it's not his father shocking us. True. Uh, that's a true story. That's very yeah. true. Yeah. When Nobody 40 wants turns that. into 90. I'd rather Jordan shock us than anyone else. Yeah. yeah. She, I feel yeah. like she's the most, the most loyal. loyal. She's like, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. don't know. Okay. Everyone else would be like, yeah, I fucking gotcha. <laughs> exactly. 100%. 99. <laughs> Yes, I put it on two. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll get through these real quick. Um, as always, you guys, I, we appreciate y'all hanging with us live out there in Internet land. Um, you can relive all of this magic in all our past shows, wherever you listen to podcasts and, of course, in glorious HD on YouTube and on our free Jams and Cocktails Roku channel. Please give us five stars and rate us highly wherever you're checking out the show. Shout out to our sponsors and partners at Code Rum, TCNightlight.com, The Sneaky Tiki, Hop Life Brewing, Treasure Coast Entertainment, Snorkel Corn Entertainment, Paul at the Drums and Rums Podcast, and Ben and Hector at 561 Music Podcast. Uh, please support our friends who support us uh, and support local whenever you can. Uh, hugely important. We really appreciate it. Uh, come out to one of my shows this weekend. The weather's not supposed to be really great over this weekend, but um, if we manage to do it, come and see a show. Uh, you can check out all my dates at bradbrock.com. Derek. You forgot one of our sponsors. <clears throat> Who did I forget? Drizzly! No, oh, Drizzly! Drizzly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. I get that's $5 every time I say it. I'm glad that you... Uh, and you get an extra five for every second that you... Hold oh, on. <laughs> well then. Let me take a deeper breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, don't forget to catch me on the Johnny Ringo Show podcast as it debuts every Sunday at 5 p.m. on Facebook and wherever you listen to podcasts. And uh, as of now, that does it for my shameless plugs. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Don't forget our friends with the bug juice either. Oh, we love the bug juice. The bug juice is amazing. Of course, yes. My legs have not been less bitten up after going to the beach than, than they are right now. Do you think that they could make an ant spray? <laughs> Lord, I'm going to ask them. I wonder them. if they already have one. They I'm going to ask them. Or what it's, to do about Because I hate to say the stuff you guys got, not going to work. Not working. Not going to cut it. Not on those ghost ants. Mm -mm. Oh, no, no. I know it works. Bottles of liquor. That works. <laughs> Many bottles of liquor. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, what if we just put one of those down in the corner? Yeah, what if? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the show tonight. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? All righty. <laughs> Always yeah. having fun. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Next week is our 420 episode with our friend, entertainer Dave Balin. Uh, that one should be interesting, uh, to say the least. <laughs> Give it up for the Destruction Crew. Jordan. Here <laughs> Ooh, and Ellie. Ellie. Yes. And Brad. Oh, dude, dude, dude. please, please. <laughs> take it. I'll take it when I can get it. Until next week, you guys. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Give yourselves a round of applause out there. 
appreciate Don't give it. yourself a hand until you're alone. <laughs> that too. <laughs> or until, with a friend. <laughs> oh my God. Until next Close week, friend. you guys drink some water, support local, listen to music, drink some water. Again, I wrote it twice because it's that important. <laughs> uh, and take care of yourselves and each other. Broadcasting live from the legendary JNC Lounge. A happy Easter to you out there as well. And Good Friday. And Good Friday, which is, is this Friday. Is this Friday. Um, we love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Good night. Oh, I'm the king. 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 I'm the king.